oh my god i, I mean you're you're just you're just you know like beautiful you are too i am and you know pretty funny i mean i thought i was just annoying well you are hmm but not in a way that i mind wait that chair kicking worked didn't it shut up I knew it worked. I'm literally gonna stab you with my fork. Well, I had to do something to get your attention. I mean, I've been staring at the back of your head in class for like three months. Three months? I didn't think you noticed me. You're always like paying attention to what the teacher's saying. That's called school, which I only go to because I'm forced. That's fair. I remember um the first day of class, you like came in late because I think your car had backfired. Ugh. Zuko. Zuko? Oh, I named my car Zuko after Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. Why? Because just like Zuko, he's temperamental, he overheats quickly, and he spews smoke at literally the worst times. <laughs> Does he also have a toxic relationship with his father? You know, he just might. Well, on the day that um Zuko backfired, I remember you came into class late and you kept trying to like explain the situation to our teacher and you like were getting all worked up and um like sweaty and stressed and you kept like stuttering because you couldn't get your words out fast enough and um your face started to get red and so like your cheeks kind of turned this like rosy color um and you kept like talking with your hands but you're wearing like this bright pink nail polish and so it just looked like little like pink raindrops like dancing in the air and um I, j I just remember thinking like okay i don't know who that girl is i have no idea who she is but i really hope she sits next to me hello i'll be your waiter for this evening can i get you two started with some appetizers Dude, that makes no sense. Yes, it does. How could Helen Keller have been a made-up person? Because how can it be blind, deaf, and still read? That's literally the whole point. That's why people wrote books about her. I don't believe it. So, like, how much money would you give me to catapult this broccoli at that table over there? Wait, Eric, don't. Ten dollars? Eric! Twenty dollars? Wait, I'm serious. <gasps> Ow! Who's throwing vegetables in this establishment? <laughs> Yes, waiter, there is someone pelting vegetables at my noggin. <laughs> so, um, how was your orthodontist appointment? <laughs> my what? Well, you know, in the attendance office, when you asked me out, you said you were coming in late from an orthodontist appointment. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, they, like, checked my eyes and everything. So, you know, I'm all good. An orthodontist checks your teeth. Oh, yeah, well, that's what I meant. So you went to the eye doctor instead? Does it matter? Did I do something? No, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I just, I, um, I, I came in late cause I was at the emergency room, so. Well, I'm okay, don't worry. I, um, I just, you know, my dad just kind of sometimes gets, uh, you know, he just, he has a temper sometimes. Um, and so that morning that I came into the attendance office, uh, he had like seen that I hadn't taken the trash out. Uh, and so he just kind of, uh, he just, uh, you know, the only reason why I went to the ER in the first place is because I wanted to make sure that my ribs weren't fractured, which they, they weren't and they aren't. So I'm fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Um, Please don't. I mean, I just, I, I, I didn't, um, Eric, you don't need to apologize for anything. Okay. <laughs>